The Masters unites the golfing world in the beautiful scenery of Augusta, Georgia this week. But already, friends, sports books are sweating it out over Tiger Woods. Tiger is, the, is unlikely to win the Masters, but he is a fan favorite. He's going to draw lots of attention for the sports betting public. And right now, a bet for Tiger to win the green jacket is at plus 7,000. If Woods starts hot, it could throw the books into chaos. The tradition, unlike any other tease off later today for Tiger Woods, it'll be his 25th attempt at a green jacket. He's already won a few. Let's get some expert analysis on what we could expect at tea time this afternoon. And I don't mean TEA, where you uh, drink with your pinky up. We're talking about hitting the ball. And for that, I'm joined by Eric Mitchell. He's the president of Life Flip Media and a sports analyst. Good morning, Eric. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Mitch, how you doing? I am doing great because we are talking about golf. I like to play very poorly, but I especially like to watch Tiger Woods play at Augusta. Uh, he says he doesn't know how many masters he has left. So how significant is this? And, and let me put that question to you. How many does he has left, have left? That is a great question. And I'm like you, I love golf. Not very good at it, but love it. And, and we're talking about Tiger. And Tiger's never missed the cut at Augusta, which is significant. Remember, he came back last year after missing over 500 days of golf after that horrible car accident he was in. And he made the cut, but then cold weather showed up right behind him. And Tiger, of course, struggled. But Tiger's healthier this year, and it's exciting. It's Tiger Woods. We see he's a champ. I don't know how many more he has in him. It's hard to say that because we got to see the two gentlemen who are teeing off first this morning, Tom Watson and Jack Nichols. Ne Jack Nicholas. No, I said that right. Jack Nicholas. <laughs> They're teeing off early. Wow, like I was going with Jack Nicholson and almost was doing the voice. That's not going to help us here right this morning. But, you know, you've got these old timers teeing off. How many does Tiger to be considered competitive with these young guys that are roaring up the charts? I mean, the two number ones between LIV, which is also there with Cam Smith, the returning uh, open champ, and of course, Scotty Leffler from Texas, UT, uh, is the number one guy up there. How much does he have? I don't know. Maybe I'm never going to say Tiger will be gone in five years, but I think the next maybe five to the decade, it would, I won't see Tiger playing as much as we have been. So this is his well, time I was right thinking, now. I think though, this, that this might be the last chance, the last time we think he has a chance to win. It's possible that he goes out there and, and doesn't look very good. And we go, he's just done. He, he's not going to win any majors, but he's still fun to watch. You, you know, Mitch, but I think I agree with you. That could happen. But I think the thing that's against us when we're talking about this is the biggest story. It's not LIV having all their players there. It's the weather right? Today is the best round of golf. Storms push in tonight. They're supposed to see over two inches of rain between tonight and Sunday, which would be the, if we push this out, remember Easter Sunday, Sunday, and also the final at Augusta, which makes it the holy of holies. And we can see for the first time since 1983 that the tournament finishes on a Monday. So wow. this weather system is ugly and very scary. So I know everybody's trying to make the story, Phil is back and all these other things and the weather's the story today's their best day and how many of these guys can hold through this and it's not for the big hitters we all know that because we remember just last year uh, you know mr bryson dj chambeau started off awesome and then missed the cut right the augusta's unrelenting to the number one folks so it's going to be interesting how the weather plays into effect with all these younger players and how it affects Tiger and his body that's half robotic, it seems. Yeah, well, uh, there are a lot of nuts and bolts in there, a lot more than there were when he won it in 1997. <laughs> uh, but, you know, let's talk about that then. I, I was thinking to myself, Colin Murakawa is a pretty good putter. He is the best ball striker on tour. If you're going to have some wet, windy, cold conditions, he might be a guy to pick, even though he's not in very good form right now. But who are you looking at? Well, Scotty Leffler, I, we, you know, he's the number one right now in the PGA. I think he looks amazing, but again, the weather kind of changes that up. And also Roy McIlroy. I think Roy, who finished number two last year at, the, at Augusta, I really think he is the odds-on favorite for a lot of folks because he looks so much better this year, and he's finally figured out how to putt. Again, wet weather and two inches of rain on Augusta doesn't make for ideal putting surfaces. So it'll be interesting. And of course you have John Ram out there, amazing, great golfer, you know, the different golfer, as they say, cause he's such a gym rat and a golfer. You don't get those two combos. So there's a lot of amazing golfers out there. And then Cam Smith, how do you count Cam Smith out? And I know Phil Mickelson will say, geez, don't forget about me. I'm pretty good. And you know, he was quiet at the, the winter dinner the other night. He's there to play golf. And I think everybody just wants to keep the LIV versus PGA story out of the the holiness of Augusta and just focus on golf. So it's going to be interesting. These guys are all competitors. Let's just not forget it's Augusta. They take this serious. That's why Tiger's there. 
they're all going to play and they're going to play through this weather, which is going to be very interesting for us all. But I think Rory has a good shot as somebody who's been playing so good and looks so much better than he did last year. Can you? Th Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.